Hey guys and welcome back to IGCSE Success. Now in today's video I'm going to be teaching you 10 new words to help you elevate your writing to that next level. So if that sounds interesting to you be sure to stick around for the whole video. Now the first word is an adjective and that adjective is eccentric eccentric. Now eccentric refers to someone or something being strange or unusual, often in a humorous way. So you could use it in the following way. The teacher's eccentric style instantly engaged the students. That's the teacher's eccentric style instantly engaged the students. Now the second word is another adjective and that adjective is vacuous vacuous. Now vacuous means having or showing a lack of thought or intelligence. So you could use it in the following way. There are plenty of influencers known for spouting vacuous nonsense online. That's there are plenty of influencers known for spouting vacuous nonsense online. Now the third word is a verb and that verb is peruse peruse. Now peruse means to read or examine something carefully or to look over something more casually. So you could use it in the following way. The parents anxiously perused their son's report. That's the parents anxiously perused their son's report. Now the fourth word is another adjective and that adjective is rambunctious rambunctious. Now rambunctious refers to something full of energy and often difficult to control. So you could use it in the following way. The rambunctious year sevens really concerned the new teacher. That's the rambunctious year sevens really concerned the new teacher. Now the fifth word is an adjective and that adjective is herculean. Herculean. And this means something that needs great strength and determination to complete. So you could use it in the following way. Trying to wrap my head around trigonometry was a Herculean task. That's trying to wrap my head around trigonometry was a Herculean task. Now number six is the word vivacious vivacious. Now vivacious refers to someone being attractively lively and animated. So you could use it in the following way. She had such a vivacious personality everyone seemed to warm to her. That's she had such a vivacious personality everyone seemed to warm to her. Now number seven is the adjective sedulous sedulous. Now sedulous refers to someone being diligent, hardworking and persistent. So you could use it in the following way. His sedulous efforts towards his studies really made his teachers proud. That's his sedulous efforts towards his studies really made his teachers proud. Now number eight is an adjective and that adjective is unctuous. Unctuous. Now, unctuous refers to someone being full of praise, kindness, or showing interest, but it all seems a little too insincere. So you could use it in the following way. Her unctuous speech for the position of head girl did not win over her classmates. That's her unctuous speech for the position of head girl did not win over her classmates. Now the penultimate word is ingratiate. Ingratiate. Now the word ingratiate means to try and please someone, usually through flattery. So you could use it in the following way. His efforts to try and ingratiate himself with the manager seemed overbearing. That's his efforts to try and ingratiate himself with the manager seemed overbearing. Now our last word is a noun and that noun is cacophony 
cacophony. Now cacophony refers to an unpleasant mixture of different sounds. So you could use it in the following way. Seeing a spider in the classroom caused an instant cacophony. That's seeing a spider in the classroom caused an instant cacophony. And there you have it guys, hopefully. I have equipped you with 10 new words. Maybe you knew some of them, maybe you knew all of them, maybe you knew none of them, and that's absolutely okay. And if you want to have a go at using any of the words I've used in this video below, please do. That's all I've got to say. If you like this style of video, please do let me know, and I will see you again very soon. Until next time, bye-bye.